A public memorial for young Dolph is in the works. That's the latest from family members as they continue to work on those details. And today we are learning more about the private service for the rapper and Memphis native. Our WREG's Jordan James spoke with the funeral home officials who say loved ones felt comfortable having them handle the arrangements because they had dealt with the family before. A day after the burial of young Dolph, Pamela Rury is still processing everything. It was one for the books, if I should say. It was a great pleasure. Worry and her team at NJ Ford and Sons were in charge of funeral arrangements for Dolph. This service was one of a kind. We had call after call, but keeping it under wraps was, was really big. Mm -hmm. It really was. And then not, not talking about the cemetery and, you know, where we were having the services at. All of that was kept until the day of services. Mm -hmm. Hundreds of family and friends showed up to the private service at a Binghampton church, including celebrities such as Two Chains and Monica, a turnout that impressed Weary. For um, people of that stature to come and sit and stay, that means a lot. That tells that mm, this guy, he had to hold a high standard. During the course of the service, several family and friends spoke. A moment that resonated with many was when Dolph children spoke about the pain of losing their dad. Listening to them say, I love my dad, you know, and, and it was the way they said it, it was powerful. They miss him. Mm -hmm. They really, they really miss him. So that broke my heart, you know, to see those children, little boy and girl, crying for their father. Investigators are still searching for those responsible for killing the 36-year-old rapper. In South Memphis, Jordan James, WREG, News Channel 3. Well, others would like to say goodbye as well. That public memorial could be later this month, and we'll keep you posted.